I am super excited to be doing something different. It's worth, it's worth a sweet potato smile. Little orange gems we call sweet potatoes are the pride and joy of North Carolina. Go get your sweet on. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. It's not really episode. This isn't TV. It's YouTube. Anyway, another edition of this Farm Wife Cooks. Today, I am super excited to be doing something different for me. We're not cooking beef today, y'all. Don't worry, we're not cooking chicken either. We are actually going to be baking. Y'all know that's not something that I'm very good at because it requires precise or at least semi-precise measuring. And we're coming up on Mother's Day. And since it's Mother's Day, um, I decided that I wanted to do one of my mom's recipes that we really enjoyed growing up. And it's something very Southern. It's something very North Carolinian. Uh, and I'm gonna share it with y'all because I'm afraid there are not enough people in the world that are making this. All right, you, you want to know what it is, don't you? It's a sweet potato pie. That's right. We don't we don't do pumpkin pie around here. We do sweet potato pie. And if you've never had or made a sweet potato pie, well, you need to. All right. So I'm I'm pulling out my old church cookbook that several of my mom's recipes are in. You can tell it's been well loved. In fact, the the cover is completely off of it. Um, uh, so, my mom passed away, for those of y'all that don't know, my mom passed away back in June, June 13th, 2001. And anyway, this right here is just, it's one of my favorite things. It has a lot of her handwriting and little tabs for things that she made. And um, one of the things in here is the sweet potato pie. So, I'm going to use her recipe with a maybe a couple little tweaks. I don't think she would mind. And I'm also excited to be partnering with the North Carolina Sweet Potato Commission for this video and a few more coming up in the next several months. How exciting is that? It's worth, it's worth a sweet potato smile. Truly though, these little gems right here, these little orange gems we call sweet potatoes are the pride and joy of North Carolina. We are the largest sweet potato producing state, say that five times fast, in the United States. We produce over 60% of the nation's supply of sweet potatoes. And I have, a, I have a little history with sweet potatoes myself. For two summers when I was in college at NC State, I worked for the horticulture department. My dad worked in the horticulture department and uh, I think he, you know, he hooked me up with a job that would keep me busy, keep me out of trouble and keep me dirty <laughs> and very tired for two summers straight. But it was a great job. I got to work with a great man named Dennis. Dennis and I would head out every morning from the university and we would go to different research stations in the eastern, pretty much central and eastern part of the state. And I, I worked with a lot of different crops and one of them was sweet potatoes. I got to plant sweet potato slips. That experience was interesting. It was fun. You got to sit on the back of the planter and, and put them in. And then I uh, used this little stick and it had a little V on it and you poked them in the ground. That is a very rudimentary way of telling you how sweet potatoes are planted. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do a video later um, showing them harvested. Would you like to see that? Would you like to go along for that? I think it would be fun. So anywho, back to making sweet potato pie. That's what we're going to do today. So, I have got, I have got probably maybe too many. I don't know, but I got about this many, two handfuls, about five small to medium sweet potatoes. I'm going to wash them off a little bit. Then I'm going to put them in a pot to boil and with the skin on. And then I'm going to show you how easily it just peels off and they're cooked and done. And it's very mess free. It's easy. I prefer easy. Easy is good. So, we're going to do that. We're going to get rolling. And um, I think you're going to like this. I know you're going to like this. So, hang on. Okay, I have rinsed these sweet potatoes. I am going to put them in water that I have 
coming to a boil. It's okay. It doesn't have to be boiling. Ooh, it's close though. We're gonna put these in here and we're gonna let them boil for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. We'll check them. I'll check them with a fork to see when they're tender. And in the meantime, I'll be gathering the stars of the show. Yeah. Okay, so here's my mom's recipe right here. Two cups of sweet potatoes mashed, three cups of sugar, three eggs, three quarter cups sweet milk. Um, that's just regular milk. You could also use evaporated milk if you wanted to do that. I don't have any. I'm just gonna use milk. One teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of salt, and a stick of margarine. And then you just, we're gonna mix it all up and put it in two pie dishes. I've worked really hard on these pie dishes right here, if you can tell. It's taken me, it's taken me a long time. Look, see, it's imperfect. I'm just kidding y'all, of course I bought these. I don't make pie crust. I mean, I have made pie crust in the past, but I prefer to not make pie crust because I just am not a big pie crust maker fan. Yeah. Um, but if you are, that's awesome. You're awesome. You're better than me. I prefer to just buy my pie crust already made. So these were frozen. I have had them in the refrigerator thawing and we're going to leave them uncooked. We're going to put the filling in uncooked. Um, well, of course the filling's going to be uncooked, but so is the pie crust. They're going to cook together. They're going to marry together in the oven. Then we have a stick of butter. I use salted butter. It's just what I use in everything. Three eggs, thanks to my friend Wendy, who provides me with fresh eggs. Um, a little salt, vanilla, sugar. And then I actually do use some pumpkin pie spice. My mom's recipe doesn't call for that, but I've started doing this past several years and I feel like it just, it gives it a good little kick. So there, yeah, those of y'all that, that are just stuck on pumpkin pie, this has pumpkin pie spice in it. So, you know, I'm just all about pleasing all the people that I can at one time. All right, so, taters are boiling. They're boiling. They still need to boil a little bit longer, but they're coming right along. Mm -hmm. Okay, they've been cooking about 30 minutes. Let me check them. They are getting very close. They're fork tender, but I want them to get a little bit softer so that they mash up in the blender or blend in the blender. Yeah, that really well. I put my butter right here where it'll be a little warmer so it can get soft. We want soft butter. We want blendable butter. Okay, y'all, we have some hot taters. <laughs> some really hot taters. See, they're really soft though. I'm gonna let them cool down just a few minutes to where I can actually handle them. And you're gonna see how easy the peeling comes off. Actually, what I'm gonna do is run some cold water over them because I'm impatient like that. And that will make them handleable. Handleable, is that a word? It is now. I like making up words. Okay, there we go. Now watch this, y'all. What? look, I can do this one-handed. See that? See how it just peels right off? Isn't that amazing? And then we have our sweet potato ready to be blended. Okay, here we go. Okay, the recipe calls for two cups of sweet potatoes. This is probably a little bit more than two cups. Can we agree on that? It's okay though. It's it's forgiving, all right? And I got two deep dish pie crust. We're gonna be all right, y'all. So what we're gonna do, we've got our potatoes in there. Now we're going to add three quarter cup of milk. And we're gonna put in our eggs which I need two hands for. Also, it's safe to say that my butter, my butter is warm. It started melting. It's all good though. It's all good. All right, let's come right around here. Oh, you don't want to look at that little, little cabinet knob. Okay, so we're gonna put this butter in here. I just love that little trick though. Put it on the oven, even though the oven was not on. <gasps> That's a good reminder though. We need to turn the oven on. Let's do that. Hold on. Struggle with this thing. Welcome to Marty's imperfect world here. Okay, oh, I got grease and I got a clean oven for a change. 350, start. It won't take long to warm up. All right, let's come back down. Here we go. All right, we've got our butter in there. I'm gonna put our eggs. 
three eggs. Make a mess. It all cleans up. It all works out in the wash. All right. Three eggs. Three cups of sugar. That's right. I said three cups of sugar. Now, this is one third cup that I keep in my sugar at all times because I make tea on the regular. So, math, math is hard for me. Math is hard for me. But we need three cups. Three of these make one cup. Three times three is nine. I know that much. So, let me be quiet and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. A pinch of salt or a twist. That's what you got. Uh, let's see. One teaspoon of vanilla. I'm not measuring this because I don't like to do that. And then we're going to give it some spice. Just however much. That much. And then let it rip. Keep it on low so it doesn't splash out. Oh, it already smells good. Okay. Now you're going to see. Sweet potatoes are stringy. There's going to be some strings on there. That's good. That's fine. We're just not going to put that in our pie. Okay? We're, well, we're going to try to catch it. If it goes in the pie, it's fine. It's all good. Okay. Then we're just going to pour. We're going to pour our filling in both pie crusts. Just right. Yeah, these are deep dish. Glad I had deep dish. <laughs> Some puppies are full. All right. We're going to cook them for 55 minutes. 55. We're going to check them. We're going to do a little jiggle test. Make sure they're firm. Cook them longer if we need to. And you're going to see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just have to be so careful. I guess I could put them on a... Um, a bacon tray, a bacon sheet, that would have been maybe smart, but too late now. All right, we made it. Oops, lost a little bit. Okay, cook babies. I also just realized that the recipe said mashed sweet potatoes. So I did not mash them before I mixed them. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. If it is, then I'm probably going to redo this part of the video. Anywho, but here's hoping that it's not a problem. I don't think I remember doing that in the past. I just dump and mix and go. So, we'll see. I'll let you know. Alrighty. Let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness, I wish y'all could smell them. I think what we have is two done pies. That is like the perfect little jiggle wiggle. I call it the jiggle test. <laughs> I just jiggle it to make sure it looks firm. They look firm. They look perfect. All right, I'm going to take them out and let them cool. And since it's supper time, I'm going to let them cool on the table so I can use my, my stove and my oven to cook supper. Um, and then we're going to cut into them. And I'll let you know, but I'm pretty sure we have a couple winners right there. See how easy that is? So easy. I'm telling you, you got to do this. You've got to make sweet potato pies. Promise me. Okay? Okay. Okay, y'all. The proof is in the pie. I think that's what they say. Mmm. Yes. Perfect. All right. Y'all got to make this. Um perfect as it is. You could top it with some whipped cream. That would be even more perfecter. It's sweet. It's warm. It's yummy. It's great. So, cheers to sweet potato pie. Be sure to look in my description and check out my blog post where I will have the recipe card on there that you can print off. I will also have a link in the description and on the website, thisfarmwife.com, to ncsweetpotatoes.com. That's where you need to go to find out more about North Carolina sweet potatoes. 
and about all things sweet potato and a bunch of other recipes. So stay tuned for more sweet potato recipes here. Go check some out there and go get your sweet on. <laughs>